Constitution of the United States. We the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity, we ordain and establish this Constitution for the United States of America. Article 1, Section 1. All legislative powers herein granted shall be vested in a Congress of the United States, which shall consist of the Senate and House of Representatives. Section 2. The House of Representatives shall be composed of members chosen every second year by the people of the several states, and the electors in each state shall have the qualifications requisite for electors of the most numerous branch of the state legislature. No person shall be a representative who shall not have attained to the age of 25 years and been seven years a citizen of the United States, and who shall not, when elected, be an inhabitant of that state in which he shall be chosen. Representatives of direct taxes shall be apportioned among several states which may be included within this union, according to their respective numbers, which shall be determined by adding to the whole number of free persons, including those bound to service for a term of years, and excluding Indians not taxed, three-fifths of all other persons. The actual enumeration shall be made within three years after the first meeting of the Congress of the United States, and within every subsequent term of ten years. In such manner as they shall by law direct, the number of representatives shall not exceed one for every 30,000, but each state shall have at least one representative. And until such enumeration shall be made, the state of New Hampshire shall be entitled to choose three, Massachusetts eight, Rhode Island and Providence Plantations one, Connecticut five, New York six, New Jersey four, Pennsylvania eight, Delaware one, Maryland six, Virginia ten, North Carolina 5, South Carolina 5, and Georgia 3. When vacancies happen in the representation from any state, the executive authority thereof shall issue writs of election to fill such vacancies. The House of Representatives shall choose their speaker and other officers and shall have the sole power of impeachment. Section 3. The Senate of the United States shall be composed of two senators from each state, chosen by the legislature thereof, for six years, and each senator shall have one vote. Immediately after they shall be assembled in consequence of the first election, they shall be divided as equally as may be into three classes. The seats of the senators of the first class shall be vacated at the expiration of the second year, of the second class at the expiration of the fourth year, and of the third class at the expiration of the sixth year, so that one third may be chosen every second year. And if vacancies happen by resignation or otherwise during the recess of the legislature of any state, the executive thereof may make temporary appointments until the next meeting of the legislature, which shall then fill such vacancies. No person shall be a senator who shall not have attained to the age of 30 years, and been nine years a citizen of the United States, and who shall not, when elected, be an inhabitant of that state for which he shall be chosen. The Vice President of the United States shall be President of the Senate, but shall have no vote, unless they be equally divided. The Senate shall choose their other officers, and also the President pro tempore, in the absence of the Vice President, or when he shall exercise the office of President of the United States. The Senate shall have the sole power to try all impeachments. When sitting for that purpose, they shall be on oath or affirmation. When the President of the United States is tried, the Chief Justice shall preside, and no person shall be convicted without the concurrence of two-thirds of the members present. Judgment in cases of impeachment shall not extend further than to removal from office and disqualification to hold and enjoy any office of honor, trust, or profit under the United States. But the party convicted shall nevertheless be liable and subject to indictment, trial, judgment, and punishment according to law. Section 4. The times, places, and manner of holding elections for senators and representatives shall be prescribed in each state by the legislature thereof, but the Congress may at any time by law make or alter such regulations, except as to the places of choosing senators. The Congress shall assemble at least once in every year, and such meetings shall be on the first Monday in December, unless they shall by law appoint a different day. Section 5. Each House shall be the judge of the elections, returns and qualifications of its own members, and a majority of each shall constitute a quorum to do business, but a smaller number may adjourn from day to day, and may be authorized to compel the attendance of absent members in such manner and under such penalties as each House may provide. Each house may determine the rules of proceedings, punish its members for disorderly behavior, and with the concurrence of two-thirds expel a member. 
Each house shall keep a journal of its proceedings, and from time to time publish the same, excepting such parts as may in their judgment require secrecy. And the yeas and nays of the members of either house on any question shall, at the desire of one-fifth of those present, be entered on the journal. Now their house during the session of Congress shall, without the consent of the other, adjourn for more than three days, nor to any other place than that in which the two houses shall be sitting. Section 6. The Senators and Representatives shall receive a compensation for their services to be ascertained by law and paid out of the Treasury of the United States. It shall, in all cases except treason, felony, and breach of the peace, be privileged from arrest during their attendance at the session of their respective houses, and in going to and returning from the same. And for any speech or debate in either house, it shall not be questioned in any other place. No senator or representative shall, during the time for which he was elected, be appointed to any civil office under the authority of the United States, which shall have been created, or the emoluments whereof shall have been increased during such time. And no person holding any office under the United States shall be a member of either house during his continuance in office. Section 7. All bills for raising revenue shall originate in the House of Representatives, but the Senate may propose or concur with the amendments on other bills. Every bill which shall have passed the House of Representatives and the Senate shall, before it become a law, be presented to the President of the United States. If he approve it, he shall sign it, but if not, he shall return it, with his objections to that House in which it shall have originated, who shall enter the objection at large on their journal, and proceed to reconsider it. If after such reconsideration two-thirds of that House shall have reached past the bill, it shall be sent, together with the objections, to the other House, by which it shall likewise be reconsidered, and if approved by two-thirds of that House, it shall become a law. But in all such cases the votes of both Houses shall be determined by yeas and nays, and the names of the persons voting for and against the bill shall be entered on the journal of each House respectively. If any bill shall not be returned by the President within ten days, some days accepted, after it shall have been presented to him, the same shall be the law, in like manner as if he had signed it, unless the Congress, by their adjournment, prevent its return, in which case it shall not be a law. Every order, resolution, or vote to which the concurrence of the Senate and House of Representatives may be necessary, except on a question of adjournment, shall be presented to the President of the United States, and before the same shall take effect, shall be approved by him, or being disapproved by him, shall be repassed by two-thirds of the Senate and House of Representatives, according to the rules and limitations prescribed in the case of a bill. Section 8. The Congress shall have power to lay and collect taxes, duties, imposts, and excises to pay the debts and provide for the common defense and general welfare of the United States. But all duties, imposts, and excises shall be uniform throughout the United States. To borrow money on the credit of the United States, to regulate commerce with foreign nations and among the several states and with the Indian tribes, to establish a uniform rule of naturalization and uniform laws on the subject of bankruptcies throughout the United States, to coin money, regulate the value thereof in a form of coin, and fix the standard of weights and measures, to provide for the punishment of counterfeiting the securities and current coin of the United States, to establish post offices and post roads, to promote the progress of science and useful arts, by securing for limited time to authors and inventors the exclusive right to their respective writings and discoveries, to constitute tribunals inferior to the Supreme Court, to define and punish piracies and felonies committed on the high seas and offenses against the law of nations, to declare war and war and regulate the marquee and reprisal, and make major rules concerning captures on land and water, to raise and support foreign markets, but no appropriation of money to them use and not be for a long term term to years. To provide and maintain the Navy, to make main rules for the government, government and regulation of the land and naval forces. Force force. To provide and fund for militia, militia to execute the laws of the Union, to press the pressure on the invasions. To provide for organizing the market and discipline like the militia and for government as part of them as may be employed in service of the United States. Reserving to the states respectively the appointment of officers and the authority of training the militia according to the discipline prescribed by Congress. To exercise, to exercise exclusive legislation, legislation in all cases West whatsoever over, over such a district, and exceed 10, 10 miles square, square as may, by, by such a particular, particular state, states, and the acceptance, acceptance of Congress, Congress becomes the seat of the government, government of the United, United States. States. And to and exercise, exercise authority like authority over all places, places purchased, purchased by the consent of the legislature, legislature of the state, state in which the same shall be for the erection of forts, magazines, arsenals, dockyards, and other buildings, 
and to make, to make all laws which shall be necessary and proper for carrying into execution the foregoing powers and all other powers vested by this Constitution and the government of the United States, States or in any department, department or office thereof. thereof. Section, Section 9. 9. My migration or importation of such persons as, as any of, of the states, states, states now existing shall, shall think proper to admit shall, shall not be prohibited by, by the Congress prior to the year 1808. But a tax, tax review may be imposed on such importation, not exceeding $10 for each person. person. The privilege, the privilege of, of writ of habeas, of habeas corpus, corpus, corpus shall not, not be suspended unless in cases, cases of rebellion or invasion, invasion of public safety may be required. No bill of attainment or ex post facto law shall be passed. No capitation or other direct tax shall be laid unless in proportion to the census or an operation before the record be taken. No tax or duty shall be laid on our exported from each state. No preference shall be given, given by any regulation, regulation of commerce or revenue, or revenue to the ports of one state, state or those of another. another. Nor shall, shall vessels bound to or from, from one state, one state be obliged to enter or be used in another. another. No, no money, money shall be drawn from the treasury, but in consequence, the corporation may be by law, and a regular statement and account of the receipts and expenditures of all public money shall be published from time to time. No title of nobility shall be granted by the United States, and no person holding any office of profit or trust under them shall be the consent of the Congress except any present, the emolument of office or title of any kind, whatever, from any king, king prince, or foreign state. state. Section 10. No state shall, shall enter into any treaty, treaty alliance or confederation, grand letters or marquee, or prize, coin, coin, money, and make bills of credit, make anything but gold, gold and silver, silver and coin, coin, a tender, and payment, and payment of debts, pass any bill of attainment, ex post facto law, or law, or the obligation of contracts, or grant any title of ability. No state shall, without the consent of Congress, lay any imposts or duties on imports or exports except what may be absolutely necessary for executing its inspection law. And then that produce of all duties and imposts laid by any state, state on imports, imports or exports shall not be for the use of the Treasury of the United States, States and also this law shall be subject, subject to the provision and control, control of the Congress. Congress. No state, no state shall, shall without the consent of Congress, Congress lay any duty of tonnage to troops or ships of war in time of peace entered into any agreement or compact with another state or with a foreign power or engaged in war, unless actually debated or in such imminent danger as will not admit of the less. Article, Article 2, two section, section 1. one. The executive, executive power, power shall be vested in a president of the United States, States of America. America. He shall, he shall hold his office during the term of four years, years and together, together with his vice president, chosen for the same term, term be elected as follows. Each state, state shall appoint in such manner as the legislature thereof may direct a number of electors equal to the whole number, number of senators and representatives to which the state may be entitled. In the, in the Congress, Congress no, no senator or representative or person holding an office of trust or profit in the United States shall be appointed in the elector. The electors shall, shall meet in their respective states, states and vote by ballot two persons, two persons of whom one, one at least shall, shall not be an inhabitant of the same state, state with themselves, themselves. And they shall, they shall make a list of all persons, persons voted, for voted for and a number, number of votes for each, each. which list they, they shall, shall sign and certify and transmit seals to the seat of the government of the United States, States directed, directed to the President of the Senate. The President of the Senate shall, in the presence of the Senate and House of Representatives, open all the certificates and the votes that shall be counted. The person, person having, having the greatest, greatest number of votes shall, shall be president. president. If such, such number, number be a majority of the whole number of electors appointed, and if there, there be more than one who has such a majority and have an equal number, number of votes, then the then House, House of Representatives shall, shall immediately choose by ballot one, one of them for the president. president. And if and no person has a majority from, from the five highest on the list, the said House shall not be able to choose the president. But in choosing the president, the votes shall be taken by states. The representation of each state having one, one vote, if the one for this purpose, shall consist of a member or members of two thirds of the states, and the majority of all the states shall be necessary to a choice in every case. case. After, After the choice, choice of the president, the person having the greatest number of votes of the electors shall be the vice president. president. But if but there should remain two or more who have equal votes, the Senate shall choose from them by ballot the vice president. The Congress, Congress may determine the time of choosing the electors and the day, day on which they, they shall, shall give their votes, which day they shall be the same for the United States. states. No person except the natural born citizen, citizen or a citizen of the United States, states at the time, time of the adoption of this Constitution shall be eligible to office the president. Now, Neither shall, shall any person be eligible to that office shall not attain to the age of 35 years and 14 years of residence in the United States. 
In case, in case of the removal of the president, of the president from office, from office or, or of his death, death the nation would have ability to discharge the power of duties of the said office, office the same should not involve one vice president. president. And the Congress may by law provide for the case of removal, death, death resignation, or mobility, both of the President and Vice President, president declaring what officers, officers shall not act, act as President. president. And such officers, officers shall, shall act accordingly, accordingly until, until the disability, the disability be removed, or a president, president shall, shall be elected. The President shall, shall at stated time, time see for services, services and compensation, which shall, shall not be increased nor diminished during the period for which he shall have been elected, elected. and he shall, shall not receive within that period any other other of the United States, States or any of them. Before you enter, enter on the execution of his office, office he shall take the following oath or affirmation. I do solemnly swear or affirm that I will faithfully execute the office of the President of the United States and will to the best of my ability preserve and protect within the Constitution of the United States. Section 2. The president, president shall be commander in chief of the, of the army and navy of the United, United States, States and of the militia of, of the several states, states and called into the active service, service of the United States. States. He may require the opinion and writing, and writing of the principal officer in each of the executive, of the executive departments, departments upon any subject, subject related to the duties of the respective, respective offices, offices, and he, and he shall, shall have power to grant reprieves and pardons for offenses against the United States, States except in cases of impeachment. He shall, he shall have power, power by with the advice and consent of the Senate, Senate, Senate to make treaties, provide two thirds of the Senators present to occur, and, and he shall nominate, nominate and by and with the advice and consent of the Senate, Senate, Senate shall appoint ambassadors of public ministers and consuls, judges, judges of the Supreme Court, Court and, all and all other officers, officers of the United States, States, States appointments are not here to otherwise provide and which shall be established by law. But the Congress may by law offer the appointment of such superior officers, as they think proper in the President alone, in the courts of law, or in the heads of departments. The President, the President shall have power to fill up all vacancies that may have been during the recess of the Senate, the Senate by granting like commissions, which shall expire, shall expire at the end, end of their next session. session. Section 3. He shall from time to time give to the Congress information of the State of the Union and recommend to their considerations of measures as he shall judge as necessary and expedient. He may on extraordinary occasions convene both houses or either of them, and in cases of disagreement between them with respect to the time of adjournment, he may adjourn them to such time as he shall think proper. He shall, he shall receive ambassadors and other public ministers, ministers. He, shall he shall take care, care that the law is faithfully executed, executed and, shall and shall commission all, all the other and shall commission all, all the officers of the United States. States. Section, Section 4. The President, President Vice President, President, and all civil officers of the United States, States, States shall, shall be removed from office on impeachment for and conviction of treason, bribery, or other by crimes and misdemeanors. Article 3, Section 1. The judicial power of the United States, States shall be vested in one Supreme Court, court and in such inferior courts as the Congress, Congress may from time to time, time ordain and establish. The judges, the judges both, both of the Supreme and inferior courts, courts shall, shall hold their offices during, during good behavior, and shall, shall at stated time receive for their services and compensation, which shall not be diminished during the continuing of office. Section, Section 2. The judicial, judicial power shall dispense all cases, cases in law, law and equity arising. Under, under this Constitution, the laws, the laws of the United States, States and treaties, treaties made or shall, shall be made under their, under their authority, to all, to all cases affecting ambassadors, other public ministers and consuls, to all to cases of the morality and maritime jurisdiction, to controversy which the United States, States shall be a party, to controversy between two or more states, states between the states and citizens, citizens of another state, state between two citizens, citizens of different states, states, states between two citizens, citizens of the same state and many lands of under grants of different states, states between a state, state or the citizens, citizens thereof, thereof and foreign, foreign states, states, citizens, citizens or subjects. subjects. In all, all cases affecting like ambassadors, ambassadors, other public ministers, and consuls, and those in which each state, state shall be party, the Supreme Court, Court shall have original jurisdiction. In all, in all the other cases before mentioned, the Supreme Court, Court, Court shall have appellate jurisdiction both as law and law in fact, with such exceptions and under such regulations as the Congress shall make. Trial, trial of all crimes, except in cases of impeachment, shall, shall be by jury. Such a trial, trial shall be held in the state where the state crimes, crimes shall have been committed. But when, when not committed, committed within any state, state, the trial, trial shall be in such a place where places as the Congress may well have been corrected. Section 3. Treason against the United States shall consist only in levying war against them or adhering to their enemies, giving them aid and comfort. No person shall be convicted of treason unless on testimony of two witnesses to the same legal court act or on confession in a full court. The Congress, Congress shall have power to declare the punishment, the punishment of treasury, but no attainment no of treasury shall show corruption of blood, blood or forfeiture of during the life of the person who Article, Article 4, Section 1. Full faith and credit, credit shall be given in each state, state to the to public, public acts, acts records, and judicial proceedings of every, every other state. state. And the Congress, and the Congress may by general laws prescribe the manner in which such acts, records, and proceedings shall be approved. 
and if they fail thereof. Section 2. Citizens of each state shall be entitled to all privileges and immunities of citizens of the several states. A person charged, charged in any state, state with treason, felony, or, or other crime who shall, shall plead for justice be found in another state, state shall have a man, man of the executive authority of the state, state from which he fled, fled to be delivered up to be removed to the state, to the state having jurisdiction of the crime. No person held no to service or labor in one state under the laws thereof, escaping against one another, shall be consequence of any law or regulation therein. Be discharged from such service or labor, but shall be delivered up on claim of the party to whom such service or labor may be due. Section 3. New states, new states may be admitted by the Congress into this union, but no, no new state, state shall be formed or recorded in the jurisdiction of any other state. Or any state, state be formed by the conjunction of two or more states, states or parts of states, states without the consent of the legislature of the state concerned as well as of the Congress. The Congress shall have power to dispose of and make all these rules and regulations in their territory or other property belonging to the United States. Nothing, Nothing in the Constitution shall be so construed as to prejudice any claims of the United States. Or of, or of any particular state. state. Section, Section 4. four. The United, United States shall guarantee every state, state in the union a Republican form of government, government shall protect, protect each, each of them against invasion and on application of the legislature or of the executive and the legislature cannot be convened, convened against, against, against domestic violence. violence. Article, Article 5. five. The Congress, Congress in order to serve both houses, houses shall deem it necessary to propose amendments to this Constitution or, or on the application, application of the legislature of two thirds of several states, states shall call a convention, convention for proposing amendments, amendments which in either, either case shall be valid, valid to all intents and purposes, purposes as, part as part of this Constitution. Constitution. When ratified by the legislature of two thirds of several states, states or by convention of two thirds thereof, thereof as, as one or the other mode of ratification may be proposed by the Congress. Provided that no amendment, amendment which may be made prior, prior to the year 1808 shall, shall in any manner affect, affect the first and fourth clause in the ninth section, section of the first article, and that and no, no state, state without its consent shall be deprived of equal suffrage and consent. Article, article 6. six. All debts All contracted, contracted and engagements entered into before the adoption, the adoption of this Constitution shall be as valid against, against the United States, United States under, under this Constitution as under the Confederation. This Constitution, this Constitution and the laws of the United States, States shall, shall be made in pursuance thereof, and all treaties made, made or which shall, shall be made under the authority of the United States, States shall be the supreme law of the land. land. And the and judges, judges in every state shall be bound, bound thereby in anything in the Constitution or laws, laws of any state, state contrary not to stand. stand. The Senators, Senators were representatives were mentioned, mentioned, and the members, and members of several state legislatures, and all the executive and judicial officers. Both of the United States and the several states shall be bound by both of our information. To support this Constitution and the religious tests, Shall, shall ever, ever be required, required as a qualification in any office of public trust, trust under the United States. States. Article, Article 7. 7. The ratification of the conventions of the United States shall be sufficient, sufficient for the establishment of this Constitution between the States to ratify the same. Done a convention, convention by the unanimous consent of the States, States President, the 17th day of September, September in the year, year of our Lord, Lord 1787, and of the independence, independence of the United States, States of America, America the 12th in witness whereof we had the right to subscribe in our names. Uh, Virginia, Virginia, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, Connecticut, New York, New York, New York, New York Jersey, Pennsylvania, Delaware, Delaware Maryland, North Carolina, North Carolina South, South Carolina, and Georgia. Georgia. In convention, convention Monday, Monday, December 17, 1787, President, President of the States of New Hampshire, Hampshire Massachusetts, Massachusetts, Connecticut, Mr. Mr. Hamilton, Hamilton from New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania Delaware, Delaware, Maryland, Virginia, Virginia New York, York, South Carolina, Carolina and Georgia, Georgia resolved that the preceding Constitution be laid before the United States, States and Congress, Congress assembled, and that, that it is the opinion, opinion of this convention that it should afterward be submitted to a convention of delegates chosen, chosen in each state by the people thereof under the recommendation of this legislature for their assent and ratification, and that and each convention assented to and ratifying the same should give, give notice, notice thereof to the United States, States and Congress, Congress assembled to resolve, that it is the opinion of this convention that as soon as the convention of the United States, States shall have ratified this Constitution, the United States, States and Congress assembled to fix a day on which electors should be appointed by the States, States, States which shall, shall have ratified the same, and a day on which the electors should assemble to vote, vote for the President, president and the time and place for commencing proceedings under this Constitution. That after, that after such publication, the electors should be appointed, and the senators, and senators or representatives elected. elected. That the electors should meet on the day, the day fixed for the election of the president, president and, should and should transmit their, their votes certified. certified. Signed, Signed sealed, sealed, and directed, directed as the Constitution, Constitution requires to the Secretary of the United States, States and Congress, Congress assembled. Assembled. That the that senators, senators or representatives should, should, should convene at the time and place assigned. Assigned. That, the that the senators should appoint a president of the Senate for the sole purpose of receiving, opening, and counting the votes. President, and that, and that every shall be chosen, Congress, Congress together, 
with, with the president, president should, should without, without delay, delay seek to execute, execute this, this constitution. constitution. The amendments, the amendments to the, to the Constitution, Constitution of the United States is ratified by the states, preamble to the Bill of Rights. The conventions of a number of the states, having at the time of their, their adopting the Constitution, expressed a desire, desire in order to prevent misconstruction of the use of its powers. Therefore, the declaratory and restrictive clauses should be added, added and as extending the ground of public confidence in the government, will best serve the next ends of the Constitution. Resolved by the Senate and House of Representatives of the United States of America and Congress itself. Two thirds of both houses, houses concurrent, the following articles proposed to the legislature of the several states, states, states as an amendment to the Constitution of the United States. States. All or any of which articles are ratified by three fourths of the said legislature, of the legislature, of the legislature to be valid for all intents and purposes, purposes as part, part of the state constitution. constitution. Articles, articles in addition to and an amendment of the Constitution of the United States of America proposed by Congress and ratified by the legislature of the several states pursuant to the fifth article of the original Constitution. Amendment 1. Congress, Congress shall make a law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the exercise thereof or abridging freedom of speech or the press or the right of the people to peace and to petition the government for religious grievances. Amendment, Amendment 2. two a well regulated, regulated religion makes necessary to the security of a free state, state the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall, shall not be infringed. French. Amendment, Amendment 3. three. No, no soldier, soldier shall in time of peace be ordered in any house without the consent of the owner or time of war but in a manner prescribed by law. Amendment 4. The right, the right of the people to be secure in their persons, house, house papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures shall not be violated, and no warrant shall issue but upon probable cause, supported by oath or affirmation, and particularly describing the place of search and the persons and things to be seized. Amendment 5. No person shall be done against the court capital or otherwise infamous crime unless under presentment or indictment of any grand jury, except in cases arising in land or naval forces or in the no collection of natural resources in time of war or public danger. danger. Nor shall, nor shall any person be subject to the same offense twice put in jeopardy of life or limb, nor shall be compelled in any criminal case to be a witness against, against himself, nor be deprived of life, liberty, or property without due process, process of law, law. Nor, shall nor shall be proper property taken from the public use without just, just compensation. Amendment 6. In all criminal, criminal prosecutions, the accused shall enjoy the right of right speedy and public trial by an impartial jury of the state and district, wherein the crime shall have been committed. Which, which district, district shall have been previously ascertained by law, and to be informed, informed of the nature and cause of the accusation, to be confronted, to be confronted with, with, with the witnesses, the witnesses against him, to have compulsory process for obtaining witnesses in his favor, and to have the assistance of counsel for his defense. Amendment 7. 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 Since the bail shall not require excessive fines of those cruel and unusual punishments inflicted. Amendment 9. The enumeration in the Constitution of certain rights shall not be exclusive to deny or disparage others retained by the people. Amendment 10. The power of the judge shall delegate to the United States the power to 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 delegate to
and the vice, vice president, president shall act as president, president as in case, case of the death, death or other, other constitutional disability of the president. president. The person, the person having, having the greatest, the greatest number, number of votes vice, vice president shall be the vice president, president. So such, such number be a majority, majority of the whole number, number of electors appointed, appointed. And, if and if the, the person, person having a majority, majority then from the two, two highest, highest numbers, numbers on the list, the Senate, the Senate shall, shall choose, choose the vice president, president and warm for the purpose of consistency of the whole number of senators. And a majority of the whole number shall be necessary to choice, but no person constitutionally ineligible to the office of president shall be eligible for that of vice president of the United States. Amendment, Amendment 13, 13, Section 1, 1 neither, neither slavery, slavery nor involuntary servitude is set as a punishment for crime, where the party, party shall have been legally convicted and shall exist in the United States or any place subject to their jurisdiction. Section 2, Congress shall have power to enforce or by appropriate legislation. Amendment 14, Section 1, all persons born or naturalized in the United States and subject to the jurisdiction thereof are citizens of the United States and of the state where they reside. No state, no state shall, shall make or force any law which shall abridge the privileges or immunities of citizens of the United States. States. Nor shall, shall any state deprive any person of life, liberty, or property without due process of law, nor deny any person within its jurisdiction the protection of laws. Section, Section 2. Representatives representative shall be apportioned among the several states, states according to the respective numbers, numbers counting the whole number of persons in each state, state excluding Indians not taxed. Tax. But when, but when the right to vote, vote at any election, election for the choice of electors, electors for president and vice president of the United States, States representatives in Congress, Congress the executive, executive and judicial officers, officers of the state, state or the members, members of the legislature thereof, denies any, any of the male inhabitants, inhabitants of such state, state being 21, 21 years of age, and citizens, citizens of the United States were in any way or age except for participation in rebellion or other crime, the basis of representation therein shall be reduced in the proportion of the number of such male citizens shall bear to the whole number of those citizens. 21, 21 years of age in such state. state. Section 3. No person shall, shall be a senator or representative in Congress or, or elector of president and vice president or hold any office, civil or military, or under the United States or under any state, state who, having, having previously taken a note as, as a member of Congress, Congress or as an officer of the United States or as a member of any state legislature or as an executive or judicial officer of any state. To support the Constitution of the United States shall engage in insurrection or rebellion against the same. Or given or aid, aid or comfort, comfort to the enemies, enemies thereof. thereof. A Congress, Congress may buy a vote of two thirds each house to remove such, such disability. disability. Section 4, the validity of the public debt of the United States, States, States authorized by law, including debts incurred for payment of pensions and bounties for services, and pressing his direction or rebellion shall not be questioned. But neither, but neither the United States, States nor any State, State shall assume or pay any debt or obligation incurred in aid of his direction or rebellion against the United States. Or any, or any claim, claim for the laws of emancipation of any slave, but all such debts, debts obligations, and claims shall be held legal and void. Section 5. Congress shall have the power to enforce by appropriate legislation the provisions of this article. Amendment 15. Section 1. The right of citizens, the right of citizens of the United States to vote shall not be denied or abridged by the United States or by any state on account of race, color, or previous condition of servitude. Section 2, Congress, Congress shall have the power, the power to enforce this article, article by appropriate legislation. Amendment 16, the Congress shall have the power to lay and collect taxes on income from whatever source derived, without apportionment among the several states, and without regard to any census or enumeration. Amendment 17, the Senate of the United States shall be composed of two senators from each state, elected by the people thereof, for six years, and each senator shall have one vote. The electors in each state shall have the qualifications requisite for electors of the most numerous branch of the state legislatures. When vacancies happen in representation of any state in the Senate, the executive authority of such state shall issue writs of election to those vacancies, provided that the legislature of any state may empower the executive thereof to make temporary appointments to the people filled with vacancies by election as the legislature may be right. This, this amendment shall not be so construed, construed as to affect the election or term of any senator chosen before it becomes valid as part of the Constitution. Constitution. Amendment 18, Section 1, after one, one year from the ratification of this article, article the manufacturer, sale, or transportation, transportation of intoxicating liquors within the importation thereof into or the exportation, or the exportation thereof from the United States, States and all territory subject to the jurisdiction thereof for beverage purposes is hereby prohibited. Section 2. The Congress and several states, states shall have concurrent power to enforce this article by appropriate legislation. Section 3. This article shall be inoperative unless it shall have been ratified as an amendment to the Constitution by the legislatures of the several states, as provided in the Constitution. 
within seven, seven years, years from the date of the submission of the Kuroff to the States by the Congress. Congress. Amendment 19. 19. The right of citizens of the United States to vote shall not be denied or abridged by the United States or by any state on account of sex. Congress shall have power to enforce its article by appropriate legislation. Amendment 20. Section 1. The terms of the President and the Vice President shall end at noon on the 20th day of January and the terms of Senators and Representatives at noon on the 3rd day of January. Of the years in which such terms would have ended if this article had not been ratified and the terms of their successors shall then begin. Section 2. The Congress shall assemble at least once in every year and such meetings shall begin at noon on the 3rd day of January unless they shall by law appoint a different day. Section 3. If, if at the, the time fixed for the beginning of the term of, of the president, the president elect shall have died, the vice president elect shall become president. If a president shall not have been chosen for the time fixed for the beginning of his term, or if the president elect shall have failed to qualify, then the vice president elect shall act as president until the president shall have qualified. And the Congress may by law provide for the case where neither a president elect nor a vice president shall qualify. Declaring who shall, shall then act, act as president in the manner in which one who is to act, act shall be selected, and such so person shall, shall act accordingly until a president or vice president shall have qualified. Section 4. The Congress may by law provide for the case of death of any of the persons from whom in the House of Representatives may choose a president and have the right choice to have a on them. And for the case of death of any of the persons from whom the Senate may choose a vice president and have the right choice to have a vote on them. Section 5. Section 1 and 2 shall take effect on the 15th day of October following the ratification of this article. Section 6. This article shall be operative unless it shall have been ratified as an amendment to the Constitution by the legislature of three fourths of several states and seven years from the date of its submission. Amendment 21. Section 1. The 18th article of the amendment to the Constitution of the United States is here by repeal. Section 2. The transportation or transportation to any state, territory, or possession of the United States for delivery or use therein of intoxicating liquors in violation of the laws thereof is hereby prohibited. Section 3. This article shall be inaugurated unless it shall have been ratified as an amendment to the Constitution by conventions in the several states as provided in the Constitution within seven years from the date of the submission to the states by the Congress. Section 3. Section 3. Section 3. No person shall be elected to the office of president more than twice, and no person who has held the office of president or acted as president for more than two years of a term to which some other person was elected president shall be elected to the office of president more than once. But this article shall not apply to any person holding the office of president when this article was proposed by Congress, and shall not prevent any person who may be holding the office of president or acting as president. During the term within which this article becomes operative, from holding the office of president or acting as president during the remainder of such term. Section 2. This article shall be operative unless it shall have been ratified as an amendment to the Constitution by the legislature three fourths of the several states within seven years from the date of submission to the states by the Congress. Amendment 23, Section 1. The district constituting the city government of the United States shall appoint in such manner as Congress may direct. A number, a number of electors of president and vice president equal to the whole number of senators and representatives in Congress to which the district would be entitled if it were a state. state. But in no event more than the least populous state, they shall be in addition to those appointed by the states, but they shall be considered for the purposes of the election of president and vice president to be electors appointed by the state, and they shall meet in the district and perform such duties as provided by the 12th Article of Amendment, Section 2. The Congress shall have power to enforce this article by appropriate legislation. Amendment 24, Section 1. The right of citizens of the United States to vote in any primary or other election for president or vice president, for elector for president or vice president, or for senator or representative in Congress shall not be denied or abridged by the United States or any state by reason of failure to pay full tax or other tax. Section 2. The Congress shall have power to enforce this article by appropriate legislation. Amendment 25, Section 1. In case of the removal of the President from office or of his death or resignation, the Vice President shall become President. Section 2. Whenever there is a vacancy in the office of the Vice President, the President shall nominate a Vice President who shall take office upon confirmation by a majority vote of both houses of Congress. 
63, like, whenever the president transmits to the president for the glory of the Senate and the Speaker of the House of Representatives, the written declaration that he is unable to discharge the power and duties of his office, and until he transmits to them a written declaration to the contrary, such power and duties shall be discharged by the Vice President as acting president. Section 4, whenever the Vice President and a majority of either the principal officers of the executive department or of such other body as time committed by lawful body transmits to the President for a of the Senate and the Speaker of the House of Representatives their written declaration that the President is unable to discharge the power and duties of his office, the Vice President shall immediately assume the power and duties of the office as that President. Thereafter, when the President transmits to the President for temporary of the Senate and the Speaker of the House of Representatives, his written declaration of no inability exists, he shall resume power and duties of his office, unless the Vice President and a majority of either the principal officers of the Executive Department or of such other body as Congress may well provide, transmit within four days to the President for temporary of the Senate and the Speaker of the House of Representatives, their written declaration that the President is unable to discharge the power and duties of his office. Thereupon, Congress shall decide the issue, assembling within 48 hours for that purpose, if not in session. If the Congress, within 21 days after receipt of the latter written declaration, or if Congress is not in session within 21 days after Congress is required to assemble, determined by two thirds vote of both houses that the President is unable to discharge the powers and duties of his office, the Vice President shall continue to discharge the same as acting President, otherwise, the President shall resume the powers and duties of his office. Amendment 26, Section 1. The right of citizens of the United States who are 18 years of age or older to vote shall not be denied or urged by the United States or by any state on account of age. Section 2. The Congress shall have power to enforce this article by appropriate legislation. Amendment 27. No law bearing the compensation for the services of the senators and representatives shall take effect until an election of representatives shall be intervened. Articles of Confederation. Whereas, Whereas the delegates of the United, United States, States of the 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 United States